This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Friday, November 20th, 2009, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. The final stop of the FINA World Cup starts tomorrow in Singapore. The top scorers for the men and women, Cameron Vanderberg and Jessica Hardy, respectively, are pretty much assured that they will win that $100,000 grand prize for most points. But plenty of other swimmers will go for bonus money based on their individual swims. We'll also see the first World Cup swims from Australians Jessica Shipper and Christian Springer. Shipper just lost her 100 fly short course world record to fellow Aussie Felicity Galvez, so we will see if she can get it back. And Springer, he's the world record holder in the 200 breast, so he should be a force in that event. Also showing up for, this first, uh, for his first World Cup meet, Aaron Pearsall, who doesn't really race short course meters too often, so we will see how he does with more turns, which has certainly helped countryman Peter Marshall, who announced earlier this week that he will be back for next year's World Cup meets. Marshall had retired after the 2008 Olympic trials, only to be brought back in with the lure of last year's World Cup, where he set multiple world records and earned a nice paycheck in the, in the process. Marshall told the Baltimore Sun that he's enjoyed the travel and the racing that the World Cup provides. He's not sure if his success this fall will translate to making the Pan Packs next summer. Now, if you're a late night owl in the Western Hemisphere, you can see the meet live on UniversalSports.com starting at 3 a.m. tonight. And of course, we will have up to the minute recaps on SwimmingWorld.com. Well, two of the best swimming schools in the U.S. will do battle today in the great conference matchup of the SEC. Auburn and Georgia, men's and women's team, race today at Auburn. Should be a close battle on both sides. The Georgia women, currently the top-ranked team in the country, according to the new College Swim Coaches of America poll. And Auburn, while the defending champs on the men's side, both teams ranked right now in the top ten. On the other side of the country, Cal and Stanford will be the top teams competing at the Toshiba Classic in Long Beach, California. Julia Smith could produce some more fast in-season times. And do not forget about Cal's Caitlin Leverance. The freshman could be a title contender in the IMs at the NCAA Championships. We'll have recaps of those meets at SwimmingWorld.com. And finally, the big party night for USA Swimming. Almost here, the Golden Goggles Awards will be handed out on Sunday night in Beverly Hills. Some of the top nominees include Michael Phelps, of course, Aaron Pearsall, and Ryan Lochte, who are each up for three awards. On the women's side, Dana Vollmer and Rebecca Sony both nominated for two awards. SwimmingWorld.tv producer Garrett McCaffrey will be wearing his powder blue tux on the red carpet at the Beverly Hilton, interviewing your favorite swimmers and coaches. And we'll bring you those interviews shortly after the event at SwimmingWorld.tv. That's the news for today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.